Hi, uh, today we will cover metadata mapping uh, design pattern. This uh, metadata mapping design pattern belongs to object relational metadata mapping patterns. And uh, this object relational metadata mapping patterns uh, belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, we will see the explanation of uh, metadata mapping uh, design pattern. So, this is the explanation holds details of object relational mapping in a metadata. Uh, so, what is uh, metadata? Metadata is nothing but it describes other data or it provides information about a certain item content. So, you can take some uh, example like uh, one image is there. So, we want to include metadata about that image. Uh, so, how the metadata will be? The metadata uh, will describe how the uh, how large the picture is and what is the color depth of that uh, picture uh, image or picture and what is the resolution it's a high resolution or low resolution and uh, when the image was created who has created uh, so that information will be there in the metadata so metadata is nothing but it describes other data it provides information about a certain item okay so uh, we will see one example uh, so that uh, you will understand uh, this metadata mapping uh, design pattern uh, to explain uh, this design pattern I have uh, taken a person table and uh, this person table has uh, three columns uh, one is last name uh, another one is first name and uh, another one is uh, number of dependence column so total three columns are there so and uh, this uh, table has uh, two rows first row represent uh, joe information and uh, second row represent uh, goni information and how we can uh, define a class for this corresponding uh, table so the person class will look like this and uh, uh, it has uh, three fields last name first name and number of uh, dependents uh, last name maps to last name of uh, person table and this first name maps to first name of uh, this person table and the number of dependents maps to uh, number of dependents of uh, person table and you can see the mapping here so this is the data map we are mapping domain class to table name you can see domain class is person class and table name is person table and the column map uh, each column last name maps to last name uh, field name of a uh, person uh, class like that uh, first name uh, is the column of person table this is up to uh, person class uh, field uh, first name like that number of dependents field is mapped to number of dependents uh, column okay so now we will come to the uh, metadata part suppose if we create uh, uh, the person metadata so this person metadata uh, is used to map uh, map uh, this person class to person table okay so you can see uh, this person class is mapped to this person table and uh, which field is mapped to which uh, uh, column of the person table so here last name uh, field of uh, this person class is mapped to last name uh, column of person table like that first name uh, field of person class is mapped to first name uh, column of person table and uh, number of dependents uh, field of person class is mapped to number of dependents uh, person table number of dependents column person table so this metadata so this metadata can be xml xml or uh, some text file so this metadata file uh, gives the information how uh, the particular domain class is mapped to the particular uh, table and how each fields are mapped to the corresponding uh, column of the table okay so this person metadata this xml file can be processed by the generic code to carry out the details of reading inserting and updating the data example hibernate ORM so what does it mean uh, so so we can write some generic code which can uh, read this uh, person metadata uh, XML file uh, and that generic code will use uh, this mapping information 
to uh, perform uh, insert information in the person table or update information in the person table or get uh, some information from the person table so like that uh, the generic code can perform okay and the best example is uh, hibernate object relational uh, mapping tool so uh, in hibernate uh, we can define uh, uh, hibernate mapping file which is xml file uh, where we can define which domain class is mapped to which uh, table and which uh, field of uh, domain class is mapped to uh, which column of uh, which table so that mapping information will be in the xml file hibernate mapping file uh, later uh, the hibernate generic code will uh, read the uh, the person metadata xml or that hibernate mapping file uh, and uh, it will use that metadata information to perform the uh, cred operation like create retrieve update and delete the information and uh, this is about uh, metadata mapping uh, design pattern and uh, thanks for uh, watching